I'm Scott Graham and I'm the Artistic Director of Frantic Assembly and today I want to look at how you create lifts with actors and how you get them flying across the stage, how you create that illusion of weightlessness but actually how you start that is by building trust. So simply trust exercises building towards very dynamic choreography. What we're going to do is just do a little, uh, what we call push hands. And push hands is where I put my hand on top of yours, and you are pushing up into mine, okay? And I am controlling you. So I move you, you need to be receptive. So if I push down, you go with, that's right. If I come up, you keep that contact. All the communication is happening through that touch. Off you go. Start to move your partner around the room. Test them a little bit. You're looking for economy. You're looking for a nice kind of quiet physicality, centered. The person with the hand on top is the person who's in control. The person underneath, just push up slightly. That contact is where you're going to be communicating. So keep it constant. OK, stop there. Let's push it a little bit further, OK? We're going to start like this again. I'm in control with the hand on, on the top. We start as normal. But when I say eyes, this person will close their eyes. Just be very, very careful. Person with a hand on top is leading. Person with a hand underneath is the one who closes their eyes. Do not get that confused, because both of you will be moving around with your eyes closed. Off you go. Just get that quality. OK, eyes closed. Keep aiming for that fluidity in the physicality. Keep that tension away. The only information for them to follow is touch now. OK, stop there. How was that? Better? Yeah. Easier? I think that's because you are cutting out all the unwanted stimuli. OK? So before you're trying to second guess. Now you're just reading that touch. And that's really, really important. That's the first stepping stone of all contact work. It's been able to send those signals and receive those signals. What I'm going to work on now is just some very simple lifting and trusting. Let's just uh, let's start with you there. OK, can we just make a little horseshoe around him here? So stand either side. I want you to think about principles, one being the rock. OK, you're the rock. And what you're going to do is provide ledges so that you're not lifting me as a passive object. I'm actually pushing down into those ledges to create the illusion of lightness, OK? So to do that, I come in, I put my hands on the rock there. I lean forward because I want to get my weight going that way, my energy going forward. As I do that, my leg naturally comes up as I lean in, OK? And that's it, yes. You go underneath, so I start to push down, and it just goes up. There we go. And then legs down. Legs down first all the time. There you go. That's it, resisting all the way down. OK, so I think we should have a little go at that and just rotate all around. We have one practice each where we come in and just mark it, because what we need to see is what's, what leg are you going to favour. OK. Good. Now stay there. Stay there. Keep them up. This works. It's very light here because all the weight's going down through the rock skeleton. Yep. Swing those legs in towards the rock. There you go. Very good. So we're just going to push that a little bit further now. So, Paolo, you're going to come towards not one rock, but two rocks now, OK? Can you come in here? Uh -huh. You're going to take my place. We take that energy and we keep it going, OK? So you're going to be jumping towards me. You can come in a little bit closer, guys. That's it. Good. And down. Who's not needed in this? OK, so let's, why don't we peel off at the back there. Why didn't Jack, you go as well so there's fewer people? OK, ready? Here we go. Very good. And down. Who's not needed? <laughs> there we are. Just being honest, aren't we? OK, let's see whether we can do it. Brilliant. And down. OK, so you proved something beautifully there. 
if I said to you, okay, you're going to run at these four and you're going to be thrown up in the air, chances are you might have failed. So, you know, you start on a negative and that's no, that's no good for anybody, really. So I like to do that. You know, you start from a really comfortable position then find that, no, we, we're capable of a lot more than that. We're capable of better. Now, I want to apply that. The focus really needs to be the focus. If you're going to fly, the audience needs to believe that, which means we need to see you making the decisions. Okay? So, if you are here flying, we need to see that you want to go left. You want to go right. Okay? Your body needs to send those signals. We're using the push hands. We're receptive to that. We can, we can sense where it needs to go. If the audience isn't believing you, all they're seeing is four sweaty guys carry this lump around a room. But if they do believe you, we disappear. Okay, so that's the task. That's what's, uh, that's what's so important. Okay, really quickly, let's go, let's go, come on. Once he's up, now let's, let's make him fly. But where do you want to go? Enjoy it. See stuff. Get him up, get him up. Now bring those legs through, but we stay locking out so he can walk away. So, we're exploring lots of different uh, principles. The ledge, the, the communicating through contact. And to test that, let's just have a little game. Okay, so let's start as a group, just come around me. Because what can happen is I just do that and start. And I go up, I go up, there we go. Once I'm up, I'm down, put me down. Next person, just go. Anybody, that's it. Come in, push down, use us, use us. Get him up and then down. Anybody, forward and back, there we go. Good, and down. Okay, just remember, have our hands ready to take people up, and that's how we share that exertion. So, say similar stuff. Let's keep trying to create that illusion of weightlessness. Okay, um, let's start with you, because you almost are. Um, <laughs> what you're going to do is just bring your elbows in here, okay, and push down, okay? Now, uh, Johnny, can you come this side here? Thorne, can you come in here? Just by holding these elbows, okay, what we're going to do is just lift him. But you need to keep that. You're, what you're going to be doing is wearing a jetpack. You're going to be flying through space in a jetpack, okay? And I'm going to come in here and grab his legs. So let's bend your knees and then slowly you're going to go up. Now spin him around, spin him around. Yeah. And then to the side and then down. Okay. Now, what you need to do is again tell the story. So I'm up here, whoa, I'm a, a jetpack, but I want to go that way. What's that? Oh, I want to go there. Yeah? Because otherwise, you just see the work. This is all about hiding the work. Switch your jetpacks on and go. Really perform that joy. In fact, this is a fantasy sequence, so why not make the noise of the jetpacks yourself? That's it, I'm seeing it now. Eyes, love it. You're flying in space. Good. Great. Okay. We're going to create the uh, illusion um, where if this works, it should look effortless. It should look like someone is walking along a wall at 90 degrees. But there's an awful lot of work involved in it. Okay, so the trick is to make it look effortless. For the person who's going up, which will be you, Johnny, um, you really need to push through my shoulder when I'm lifting you. So effectively, you're trying to do you're trying to do that, okay? So you create a real strong frame. Jack, could you come here? And uh, you're gonna hold his left foot-ish. You're gonna, you're gonna be holding the center and pushing up. But it's really important that we're not lifting up, we're actually pushing into the wall. We're creating gravity, okay? When we start walking, you can stop. Let go of his feet and just let him walk over the top of you. Okay, so, so Johnny's in here. I sit right in that shoulder there. Left foot goes up. So walk your feet up the wall. So let's not move too already. 
Okay. And walk. Steady. That's good. Now, just stay there a second, Anish. Can you go away? Walk away, Ish. There you go. And now let's take him. Good. And down. Feet down first. Well done. Good. Uh, let's do it again. Let's take it a little bit further. We're going to take it around the wall. I've been using these processes for, for many years on many projects, helping actors to fly and move with, with confidence and achieve things that they probably hadn't felt themselves uh, capable of. Every movement on stage tells us a story. It places words in our head, just like text. So they are, they're just one and the same.